And I have a question for you. Are you hungry? Because I brought chicken! Look at this. Today is gonna be an uncommon objects hurl. You guys, how many literal years has it been? since I've made a video like this. Uh, but Dogman and I were just in Austin at the end of last week, and of course I had to go to Uncommon Objects twice. You guys know, if you've been here for a while, it is literally my favorite place on earth to go. It is like my imagining of heaven. Um, pretty much every single item you ever see in this room is from Uncommon Objects. I have gotten a couple other pieces from other antique stores or through Swamp Family Mail. Sometimes y'all have sent me some really interesting and amazing items that are on display in here as well. But I would probably say, safely, 97% of every item that I have in this filming room is from Uncommon Objects. We actually got some really interesting pieces. I feel like we went in the first day and kind of like scoped everything out and then thought about our favorite items and then we went back the next day and picked up a lot, a lot of stuff? I don't know. Is this a lot of stuff? This kind of feels like just in my timeline of shopping at Uncommon Objects, this does feel like a smaller hurl, but hey, Let's dig into it. Let's see. Firstly, though, I want to start lighting this candle. Well, I say start. We did briefly light it in Austin, but look, you kind of can't tell. There was a brand new candle store. They also like sold some other things, but I think it's mostly like candles and like dried herbs and flowers along South Congress. And they had a lot of like Texas based scents. So I of course just had to get the Houston candle. Let's see what Houston smells like. So yeah, like I said, we did just light it in the hotel for five minutes just to see if we could like see what the smell smelled like. But you know that it like inherent like hotel smell? It's not necessarily like a bad smell, but you know, like hotels just kind of have that smell. So I feel like the candle, like it was like mixing with hotel smell. So everybody say hello to Treasure Troll Lighter. He's gonna get the party started for us today. Hello. There we go. Um, y'all, a lot of people, whenever I say this, think I'm, <laughs> think I'm kind of crazy. Not just when I say this, but lots of things. Um, Houston to me, if you're ever driving through like in a non- traffic jam kind of situation. The city has like a sugary scent to me, but that warm kind of sugar scent. Also, last little bit of show and tell before we get started. Why not? Um, look at this Betsy Johnson dress, okay? I love it. I don't wear it as often as a lot of my other pieces because it's long. And generally, like, I'm just like doing way too many activities to have any kind of fabric over my legs. But look at this! You guys, this is almost like kind of a shirt. Okay, because look at the skirt. It's all like, if I was not wearing Sophie shorts right now, you know, what would be going on down here? It's a tea vlog now, we're four minutes in. I haven't shown you guys a single item. Let's start with this. Oh no, now I remember that was like a picture I wanted, but it was hanging in kind of an obscure place. I always say, if ever you get the chance to go to Uncommon Objects, which if you are ever in Austin, you should just go there. It's an experience, okay? It is to be experienced. Um, I always say you have to look all the way high and all the way low because there are amazing things everywhere. They just like hang chairs and stuff from the ceiling. I should have like filmed a clip in the store to show you guys. Why didn't I do that? You guys, it's the Bug and Beetle family reunion. I love this. This just speaks to me. They're very cute. They look like they're having a party. And I think that they actually said there was like a sticker on here, which is now gone. I think that this actually came out of a book from the 1890s, they said. You know, those like, learn about nature, here's some engravings. I mean, isn't this a party you want to go to? Also, look at this. I don't even know. This is just like on the back of the frame. It's some verbiage. All right, up next. It's another thing wrapped in paper. I almost just compulsively said it's a potato. It's not. I have a very fragile, absolutely non-breakable item in here. And I don't know what bag it's in. I should have told you guys we have three bags. Oh yeah, look at this, you guys. Um, 
doesn't this just make you think Dick Tracy vroom vroom? I'm not like a big detective person. Like I'm not like a big like I'm the fan of detective stuff or Dick Tracy. I just really like this you guys. I'm like really into the color yellow lately. So this just looks so cute. Maybe Al Capone would ride around in this. I don't know. Maybe it's not a detective. Maybe they're playing for the other team. I don't know, you know, but I liked it. You guys, I kind of want to move how many months, years, in fact, have I been saying this? I kind of want to move everything around in this room. And definitely I want to like revamp like my nightstand and stuff. I just feel like it needs like new, like uh, it needs like new essence. I should have worn jewelry. It's a tiny bag. What's in this? I don't know. It's a bunch of tiny biggies. You guys, sometimes when I see stuff like this, like a cluster of like items, I feel extra inclined to buy them because I'm like sad. Like what if the pigs ever got separated? And then if I buy them, I know these pigs shall never be separated. How many pigs does pigs have at a time? You know, is six an appropriate number? of pig babies. Here we go. It's another book engraving. I feel like it would be cool to just start like framing these, but I do do this a lot. I have a robust amount of artwork, never enough frames. And now I kind of like don't know where to take things to be framed if I'm being honest, because I used to always go to Joann's and now I'm sad because they don't have a framing department anymore. I don't even know if Michael's does anymore. I feel like I'm more of kind of like a Joann's girly, except for when they bust out those $5 mystery boxes. I got two of these. I love stuff like this. I can't quite describe it. If you've seen my Uncommon hauls over the years, if ever there is like a fragment of wood carving, I'm sure this came off of some house somewhere, right? It looks like structural. I love stuff like this. I love that it's like falling apart. I love that it's lead paint. I don't know, it probably is. And people like ask me if I'm concerned about stuff like that. I'm not really because it's my understanding like if you're not like peeling the paint chips and eating them, you know, plus I'm just like displaying these items. It's not like I'm like touching them all the time. I'm not like eating the paint, although it does look delicious. I was so happy that they had a matching set of two of these because you guys, I've really been into getting books lately. So I thought that these would be heavy enough. They're not super heavy, but they're not like hollow or something. Um, so I thought these would make wonderful bookends, perhaps on my nightstand. I have kind of been this, oh, this is gonna sound so wild. I've really gotten back into reading and I feel like this is the most like goofy thing I could ever say, but I'm kind of trying to like retrain my mind to scroll on the phone less and read more. I feel like I'm like some kind of news segment now, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe that would make me like feel better sometimes. Anybody else just returning to books? Like as if you can just return to the forest. Yes, back to books we go. I can't get into the Kindle. I've tried. It has to be a book. And the thing I really love is buying used discarded library books. Oh my God, anything I'm interested in reading. I attempt to see if I can find like a discarded library version of that thing. Okay, ooh, I think I see the big, big, breakable thing. So we'll save that for last. On to this other small bag. What's in it? I don't know. Oh yeah! Um, Dogman and I thought that this was so funny at first. Then we started thinking about it again later on after we bought it. And we think that maybe this is like a set of story dice. Have you ever seen those? I don't even really know what they are or how to play the game. I just know that they are a thing that exists. I think you get like a set of six dice and then you like roll it and it flashes up these, it doesn't flash, it just shows you pictures and then you're supposed to like make a story that creates all those elements. That sounds like a really long game. It would take a really, maybe it's not a game. Maybe it's just like a solo activity you do by yourself. Um, Cause I was like, dang, like, everybody's just gonna write a story just sitting there. That's gonna take longer than Monopoly. Um, but yeah, foot, is that an L? I don't know, foot, L box, magnet, sheep, lock. Oh, there's foot again. Magnet. 
Have we seen all the sides? Fire! Uh, I think we've seen all the sides now. Yes. I really liked Foot Fire. That's gonna make a great story. Up oh, next. It's a disc. It's a, oh, I think I know what this is. I finally know what something is. I think this is another wood carving. Yes. Look at this. Where did this come from? There was like many of these. <gasps> Ooh, what if this was like an edge of a picture frame? Can you guys imagine what that would have looked like when it wasn't chopped up into bits? I bet that this is a piece of a frame. Look at that. I did love it though. Once again, I thought that that would make good nightstand materials. Okay, oops, something heavy. This might be the thing I got for my mom. Um, is it? It seems mom gift sized. Yes, it is. Y'all, is this silver or gold to you? I don't know why I'm seeing silver because it is brass. Um, and I'm pretty sure brass is like, what's what is wrong with me? Now it does look kind of gold. It's the dress all over again. My mom loves bears. So I thought that this was so, so cute. He's like a little bank. I doubt if she's gonna use him for a bank. He's so cute. He has a nice weight to him. A very nice patina. Three hands corp. What does that mean? I don't know. Three hands made this bear. Um, up next. Why did I even say that creepy? Three hands. Sometimes I think, say things in a creepy way. Everything's creepy to me. Um, including, I feel like my mascara, you guys. I just did like makeup light edition today. And I feel like if I don't like somehow set my mascara, it's gonna be like by noon, it's gonna be all over my face. All right, you guys, we got this vintage plush. Now, I'm sure it's very clearly meant to be a small monkey, but Dogman said it looked like Bigfoot. <laughs> and I kind of couldn't get over it. I actually have like a little collection of these like funky looking old plush monkeys. They have just a lot of character to me. They always have such sweet little eyes. But the fact that he was like, oh, that's Bigfoot. I was like, oh, I, I really love that a lot more than even thinking it's a monkey. I feel like this was like somebody's special little friend at some point. Oh yes, and then of course I had to get an uncommon sticker. They also have bandanas now, you guys. And I got a bandana, but it's in the laundry room right now with the dirty laundry from the trip. Uh, so I'll show that to you guys in the next Uncommon haul. Am I gonna remember to show that to you guys? I don't know. Let's see what's inside. What's in here? Oh my God, yes, I know what this is. <gasps> I'm so, okay, hoping, hoping, hoping. He made it. He made it. Do you guys know how much I love frogs? Cause I do. Look at him. Oh my god, he had so much character. And honestly, I picked him up out of a selection of four frogs. There was four frogs. Um, and I kind of felt guilty for like taking him away from the other frogs, but he's he's gonna be happy here. You're gonna like it here. Um, he just has so much like expression to me. One last item in here, and then I think in the other bag. There's just like the one large item I keep telling you guys about. This is, oh yes, it's another uh, piece de resistance. You guys, look at this. Now look at that. No, um, it's these weird teeth model. I'm sure this is like an old um, doctor model or something, which I'm really not into the doctor stuff as you guys might imagine. Oh. They have something to say. Um, I feel like they're very fragile. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they made the exterior to stand the test of time. It's metal, it has hinges, and then they made the teeth and the gums out of like celluloid plastic. Like why did they do that? Is it for the realistic effect? I feel like these are very shiny, healthy gums. Very straight, kind of white teeth. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This was just like so cool and expressive to me. Maybe I should like just chunk that 
right back here. You guys, I don't smell Houston yet. I feel like though a lot of y'all tell me sometimes you have to like leave candles, especially like fancier candles. You have to leave them burning for five hours. I don't think I've ever left a candle burning for five hours in my life, except for one time I accidentally left the candle burning completely overnight. Also, I don't know why I'm just like cleaning up right now, mid filming this video. We have to like clear the way you guys for the big item, which um, ironically, I'm a little scared to touch. Not for the obvious reasons, for the probably in the obvious reasons. You guys, I think I want to start collecting. Okay, I thought that this kind of glass was always called Vaseline glass. I swear somebody told me it was called Vaseline glass once at an antique mall and maybe they just wanted to make me look goofy. Um, because then when I went to Uncommon, everybody was saying Vaseline glass. You know the stuff that glows under black light and it's like so beautiful, it kind of just oh, looks like it's glowing, um, even not under black light. Um, I got a couple pieces of this like a million years ago and I kind of thought it was gonna be like my thing and I was gonna start collecting it, but then I just like stopped for a while. I don't know, probably because I started collecting so many other things. When we went to Uncommon this time, like right in the front in a glass case, they had like a million amazing pieces of both uranium glass, which I didn't even know was a thing until like TikTok, and Vaseline. Vaseline glass. I'm gonna still call it Vaseline glass. Um, and one of the things that they had sitting in the glass case was something I am gonna sneeze. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna sneeze. Place your bets now. Sneezing? Sneezing? <sighs> All right, sippy sippy. Anyway, this item, irresistible to me. I've never seen anything like it. It's a giant, it looks like an orb, you guys. Looks like a ghostly orb. Okay, maybe it's not rusty. Maybe it's just, I'm scared of the base, you guys. You might, you might think I'm scared of the uranium glass. No, um, I'm scared of the base, which it's so funny because like you guys, a lot of times, oh, I also thought that this was gonna be really heavy. It's not. I love the look of like rusty things, but I did get rust in my eye one time when I was, I don't remember, second or third grade or something. And I, it's given me a rust and an eye complex ever since. So the base, eh, which is probably not rusty, kind of scary to me. It really is. But the, look at, look at the bulb, you guys. Look at that. And they did put a black light bulb in it so it makes it glow like so much cooler. Okay, um, it is daytime right now. I think I'm gonna insert the clip of this glowing and everything a little bit later. Cause I'm gonna try and set it up. I'm almost thinking about putting it back here, but I honestly don't think the shelf is deep enough to support this, but just look at it off even. You know, you can see it has that like greenish, whitish kind of glow about it. I feel like the glow, like it's not gonna look as cool right now, even if I turn off all of the other lights, like it's it's not gonna give you guys like the full effect, you know? So we're gonna wash our hands and we're gonna wait until nighttime. Those were all of the amazing uncommon objects that we found this time. Y'all have to let me know which was your favorite item. I always love to hear that uh, in the comments down below. Cause I know like different items like appeal to different people. So I wanna know what was your favorite I showed you today. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back again very, very soon.